You know what most of us could really need some better luck in 2021. So I should probably tend to my good luck chili pepper. I will also try something new. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> this is Wirtlock number 44, the last one of this year. There will be pruning, feeding and strange glowworm feeding. Before the pruning I should mention that this plant produced some small amount of additional fruits. It even has some flower buds right now. But that won't lead to anything, I guess. Time to cut it down. An additional reason to cut it down is a mild thrips infestation. I can trace the origin of this plant all the way back to my very first chili pepper. And it has been a side product of my real breeding program. It is a hybrid of six different chili varieties. So far. Since it had some trouble fruiting in the last years, I pollinated three flowers with pollen from my Cariolikias Reaper strain A that I just happened to raise at the same time. That means the shorthand for the heritage of this seeds is this. What a monstrosity! And not quite so short anymore. This seed has an oxidized embryo, so I take it out. If the seeds are not out of a fresh fruit, I like to soak them in chamomile tea overnight. Yeah, that one just won't sink. Anyway, for germinating them, I gently poke some holes in an old yogurt container. Whoops! Well, it'll work regardless. I'm using some good quality soil and the double cup approach, or rather double yogurt container in this case. A top layer of cocoa fiber for easy germination. Watering and compacting. The lid will retain the moisture for now. The seeds have finished soaking and are now ready to be put in. Turns out the one that just wouldn't sink had an oxidized embryo too. So off you go. Moving on. Time warp. As a lid I am using a piece of an old plastic bag that I fix in place with help of the rim of the original lid. Low key upcycling. So A for effort, I guess. The whole contraption is put in a warm place, for example on top of the lighting unit of an aquarium. And now I will try a highly unusual snack for my Sardinian glowworms. A piece of mango. There is some immediate interest, it seems. I have seen some larvae of this species suck on sugar and diluted honey water. And after seeing the layer of centipedes using mango as a snack, I wanted to see if my little carnivorous babies like it as well. Time for some time lapse.
the next morning. Yep, they like it. Meanwhile, pupation goes on. Any last verse on the on the.